Okay. Hey, everybody. So I'm in my office today. Upstairs, yes. I'm going to wait for a few people to trickle in and then we're going to start the discussion. This was a highly requested topic. So many people asked me to talk about this and the reason why it's taken a long time is because too many people are sensitive and triggered and emotional. And so that's why I put the not for the triggered <laughs> disclaimer on the title. So make sure y'all read that title and think about what you're going to say before you actually comment. Try not to comment out of emotion, but out of logic and ask good questions. Okay. So that's my disclaimer. Okay. So a lot of people um, that watch my channel, I have people of all races that watch my channel internationally, you know, all around the world. So um, this may not be an issue for some people and some people, it may be an issue to um, want to date within your own race or want to date outside of your race and getting backlash from either family or community or, um, you know, whatever, whatever. So I wanted to talk about it. Thank you. So let's talk. Um, I'll start off with the obvious, which is interracial dating. How do I feel about that? A lot of people ask me, and then also a lot of a lot of men also um, ask why um, why do women date outside their race, or black women date outside of their race, and blah 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 blah. So this is not a bashing video. I'm not going to be bashing anybody, but I'll talk about it. Okay, so my my experience, I'm going to talk about my experience real quick so that I can give you my perspective. Um, I'm married to a African-American man or however y'all want to say it, because there's so many titles and words and names that y'all want to give people now. So I'm just going to say I'm married to a black man, an African-American man, Ados, indigenous person. Uh, human being, whatever that is, the one with the dark brown skin. That's what I married, okay? That will satisfy everybody, okay? Um, so I married and I've dated other races. I've dated a lot of different races. So I can give a better perspective and I can tell you why I chose to marry a black man. Okay, so... I did date um, a few, maybe two or three at the most, uh, white guys. And it just was not, um, there was no connection. I'll just say that. There was really no connection. So the reason why is because of there's too many differences or there was too many differences for me. You know, I'm an authentic person. I feel that. Um, I like to, you know, feel connected with uh, someone that I'm spending time with, whether it's one thing, at least one thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, so it didn't last very long because, you know, when, when people talk to you, you can tell how they feel about you. You can, you can hear things in their voice, their tone, and how, and the type of words that they use. So. I did not like the way certain people spoke to me and I didn't like the way I felt when people, um, you know, um, the white guys that I was dating spoke to me as if I were inferior because y'all know I have very high self-esteem and I did not make a big deal about it. I just ghosted. Bye-bye. You know, I was dating somebody else on the side anyway. <laughs> Thank you, lovely me. You're so pretty. Thank you. So it wasn't like it was a relationship or anything. They just, you know, spent all their money. But, you know, I was not thrilled. And so 
I did not um, date in that um, race anymore. That was my experience. And the reason why, and, and there's nothing against anybody, it's just that there was nothing there for us. That, let's just say that there was nothing there for us. Yum, GN. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Now, um, we need a tutorial on this look. Okay, thank you. I will. This is number 18 on my Poshmark store, second uh, link in the description. And these are, well, these are sold out, but I'll get some more. So I've dated African. I liked I liked that experience. Um, very nice, um, gentleman like um, you know, generous things like that. So no, no, nothing negative to say there. Um, I have family members who are married to the um, you know, white women, white guys, Latino guys. So I have my family has a lot of interracial relationships or marriages okay my mother is married to a white man who is my stepfather um my brother is married to a white woman who i have nieces and nephews from so i have nothing against any type of interracial relationship it just was not for me and so a lot of ladies ask me well what if you only want to date black men and how do i get the how do i get the bag from a black man well, if you're going to deal with, um, you know, trying to get a bag from someone, whether they're black or white, you have to be what they like. You got to be their type. You got to cater to what they like, or you got to get someone from old school back in the day <laughs> that have the qualities that you're seeking. Thank you, Holly Garden. Black men date, can date out, but when black women do it, we shame. They don't want us to see us happy and abundant with white men. They feel as if we should stay loyal to them. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. Um, a lot of, yeah, a lot of people feel that way and vice versa. They feel the same way. It, you feel the same way. Only because I, in my perspective, I can't speak for everyone. They, it, it may be a slap in the face saying that I'm not good enough for you or, you know, Blah, 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 blah. So, you know, it is what it is. If you date someone, it doesn't mean you're going to marry them. If you date someone, it doesn't mean you're going to have their children. If you date someone, it doesn't mean you're going to be with them for the rest of your life. It is an experience. It is to see if you connect, cling, or repel each other. That's what dating is for. It's courting, and if there's nothing to court there, if there's nothing more to experience, then that's when people go their separate ways. So when I say I feel it's okay to date outside of your race, I did not say I feel like you should go and do this and you should go and do that and this is better than this and that's better. Than I'm not saying that at all. You have to go figure it out for yourself because everybody is different, okay? Everybody's different. And so since everyone is so different, they may feel a totally different way. They may not pick up on certain things or there might be, you know, you might live in a different area where people are different. You don't know. So I would always suggest going to experience something and figuring it out for yourself. And you may have a different story than I do. And just like my family members have different stories. And um, who are in interracial relationships. It was just um, my experience. So I have to live my experience. I have to live my life the way that I live. But I never, ever discourage anyone from going out to figure out what it is that is meant for them or that they want. Okay. Um, and like I said, this is not a bashing video. Um. <laughs> Right. Keep your options open. Go for what you want. Go for what is going to be the best thing for you regardless. You know, go for what's best for your mental, spiritual and uh, physical and be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Thank you. Y'all, I just put this up and I had ponytails and, and curled it a little bit. But thank you. So some people are stuck in their ways and they feel how they feel, but they've never experienced anything different. So they really can't speak on something that they have not experienced for themselves. So that's why I always tell people, go out and figure it out. Go, go, go and experience things and then, you know, see how you feel. Mm -hmm. And thank you. Mm -hmm. So they're like, when I go to pick up my children from school, especially the elementary school, there are so many mixed children now. Like every third child is a mixed child. And um, like we live in a very, like very nice neighborhood. So there is a lot of interracial couples, okay? Everywhere now. And you if you go and try to pick up or just go drive close to an elementary school because this is more of the younger generation, even junior high. Um, go drive and look when the parents are picking up the children. They are very mixed. Thank you, DK Kelta, Sprinkle Sprinkle. So um, thank you, Holly Garden. When I say loyal, they want us to be there through hardship when they level up. Oh, okay. I got you. Sprinkle Sprinkle. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's why I teach what I teach because it doesn't matter who it is. You need to be true to thine own self first, not to anybody else. Your loyalty lies within. Okay. And the reason I say that, especially to women, why your loyalty lies within. Because your loyalty is to self first. You must maintain. It doesn't make sense for you to remain loyal to someone who will not give you what you even need. I'm just going to say need, you know. Thank you, Monique Lilly. What foundation are you wearing? Um, a mix of two, actually. Um, Huda Beauty and the Fenty, uh, Fenty Pro Filter High Hydro, Hydro something. I don't know, the new one. Uh, sprinkle, sprinkle. So if y'all could keep the questions... To the video okay i'm gonna start this new thing and i hate to do this but please keep the questions even the even the paid questions even the donations to the subject or i will not answer it i will say thank you but i won't answer the question or read it if it does not contain to the video thank you appreciate that um mm-hmm Thank you, LaBliss. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, yeah, so my, my view on it is do what you want to do. Whatever gets you to your next level in life where you want to be, where you see yourself thriving, that's what you do. Okay, Get in where you fit in and do what makes you happy. I have nothing against anybody doing anything for da 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 But, you know, if you guys are on my spiritual channel, then, you know, when you look at things spiritually, it's a whole different story. So depending on where you are mentally, spiritually, and physically will also determine the type of person that you would like to eventually end up with. So, you know, it's different for everybody. Everybody has a different role. Everyone has a different preference. Everyone is going to do what they're going to do anyway. You cannot change someone and mold them into what you want them to be. They have to do that for self. There is no use of being angry and upset at anybody for not wanting to be better. You know, that would be like people being upset at a um, at um, Pigmisha. You know, because she doesn't want to level up. Is Pigmisha's right to be Pigmisha? It is 
Pikmisha's free will to be Pikmisha. And that is what she, um, she gonna do what she gonna do. So we can't really be upset with people who are just going to be them. If they want to change, it is up to them. We have nothing to do with it. All we can do is be the best versions of ourselves and do what makes us happy first and foremost. Okay. Um, do I see more black men with white women or opposite? I love it. I only see their children because like when you're picking up people in car lines, you just see their car and their kids get in. But <laughs> I see both. I see black women. Where I live, it's a lot of black women with white men. I've seen about two black men with white women because I told you where I live is very nice. So you may see the opposite in poorer areas where, you know, uh, you might see more black men with white women in less, you know, income area. Because, I don't know, but you will. Now, when you get higher, higher up, like into the athletes, into the actors, into Hollywood, you know, um, there was for a time where, you know, people, uh, men would, you know, date outside their race. But it's it's kind of in the middle now. Um, there's a lot of men who are dating their own race who are very wealthy and some that are not. But um, like back in the 80s and the 90s, you know, like o the O.J. Simpson days. You would see more um, wealthy black men with, um, you know, date, dating outside of their race or marrying outside of the race. But now it's coming back to the opposite. But the whole point is it doesn't matter who they're going to date. You already know, um, you know, through watching patterns and things like that, what's going to happen. So the best thing you can do is put thyself first and foremost. When you put yourself first, you always end up first. Okay. German guy sending me gifts worth thousands of dollars, but but I must pay customs a thousand to receive it. How would you handle this? Amazon wish list, baby. Amazon wish list. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um Amazon wish list. So it does sound like a scam, huh? <laughs> Amazon wish list. Mm -hmm. What did my parents say when they met James? How nice to meet you. <laughs> I heard a lot about you, but I'm glad you treat my daughter the way you treat her. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, And, you know, also, I'm not going to blame anybody for anything because, like I said, everybody has free will. But, you know, um, there are certain type of men of in any color, okay? I'm a teacher. It's okay to tell. No. Uh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, well, I mean, it's fine as long as they make more money than you. It's fine. Yes. But, okay, so when you choose the type of man you want, make sure the issue lies. Why certain women feel that they can't get a black man or, you know, someone of, um, you know, means or something like that to provide for them because they're not looking for the right ones. You're not looking for the right type of man. You're looking for the typical black man or the stereotypical black man to provide. You need to be looking for the non-stereotypical type. You need to be looking for those quiet ones, those nerds, those ones that might not have the nicest haircut because they don't, you know, they don't care about the kind of, the ones that's not wearing those Jordans. You know, you need to get the ones that may not have swag, but got swag in their bank. You know, a lot of women do not focus on the right type of black men. OK, they're always focused on the type that's stereotypical. So stop looking for the stereotypical. And you may be able to, you know, find someone that is a provider who wants a family, who wants to get married, A, B, C and D. OK. 
someone who was raised with values. So you got to find that. You can't be looking where there's nothing there that you even want. And I, like I said, I'm not downing anybody. I'm just saying, um, let's just say a black man who does not want to date outside of his race. He's not going to go find Pikmisha or Barnetta. No, he's going to go look for a leveled up woman who puts herself first, who um, takes care of herself, who's not all about, you know, long nails with a thousand jewels on it and going out to the club. OK, he's going to look for somebody who is on his same wavelength. OK, so that's why it's very important when you. Um, and, and also someone that's not going to embarrass him and someone who knows how to speak to a man properly in public in front of other people. He's probably not going to want to bob the builder chick because um, he, he has his money. Okay. So you got to understand that he's not going to want a mother either. He's going to want a woman that is not, that is not his mother. So a lot of people have to realize that as well. They don't want to be lectured. They don't want their mother. They want a lady. So when you when you realize that, either you have to adjust yourself or you have to, and you have to adjust the type of man that you are, you know, um, that's in your radar. Okay. Uh, I guess I've talked about the other side. They may be cut off or shunned from their family or the children may be treated different at you know, family functions and blah, 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 blah. So, you know, once you can, you got to consider all of this before you choose who you're going to be with. And once you choose who you're going to be with, once you choose who you're going to be with, then, you know, you can deal with it because you've already thought all of this through. Yeah. So am I back? Okay. Well, I was just saying for those um, ladies who want to date outside of their race who are white or Asian or, you know, uh, Latina or Indian, then you must do it for yourself and not for your parents or your family. And I was just saying that some families will cut you off, you know, your your trust fund off or your inheritance off or some land that you were going to inherit off or whatever. Some people may cut you off, but that's why you have to make sure that's truly what you want and that man can provide for you. Okay. So, um, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Go where you're wanted. So I feel that as long as you understand what the other person wants and you can deliver it, then you should have no issue dating any type any type you choose, you know, you should have no issue. And if you have an issue, it's most likely um, something about yourself or something that you need to figure out um, within. And like I said, experience it, see if you like it, see if you don't, see what's the pros, see what's the cons, and then you can make a better decision based on your knowledge. Okay. Um, so talking about interracial, did you feel you experienced micro something? Hold on. Micro aggressions. Girl, I don't know what they call it now. All I felt is that um they didn't uh they didn't they talked to me with the wrong tone as if they had some type of authority and don't nobody have no authority over me. And so that was that, you know, and it happens a lot in the comments, too. If you if you if you really go and read this, some of these comments, if I ever talk about anything racial, some person with a false sense of authority will chime on in and say, stop talking about this. And why does it have to be racial? Da, 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 da. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> but if if someone wants to talk about something on their channel, they should. They have that right. So uh, I don't like the false sense of superiority or the false sense of authority or the tone or the um, the belief that I'm going to listen to you because you feel that I am inferior. Because 
It doesn't work like that. So um, it's always people that want to correct you or tell you to stop talking about something. And to me, this is even worse when you do this. It, the best thing to do is just shut up and watch. Right? Just don't even say nothing. Because as quickly as, you know, people will talk about something, they will also be on to the next subject and topic that you can relate to more. Um, so you don't have to worry about that over here. I'm just saying don't don't try to have a false sense of superiority on my channel because I'm number one in my world always, always. Just as y'all, anybody should be. Put yourself first. Okay. Thank you, Do Re Mi. I like that one, Do Re Mi. I wish to have a black provider protector, but they don't give a single mother. They don't give a blah, 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 blah. Single mothers, despite I have sole custody and baby daddy drama, live in another city. Okay, well, you got to solve your issues first. Like, remember when I said you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be together. Don't have no issues. You know, get yourself together first and foremost. You're only gonna, you know, you gotta get yourself together. You can't try to go and date somebody when your whole stuff is messed up. Okay, they ain't gonna want you. You're going to have to lie about it anyway. So if you're trying to date someone who is a provider type, you can't have a bunch of drama in your life. You got to clean that up first. Clean it up and then go and do what you got to do. Okay. But clean it up. Um, Because you wouldn't want someone bringing their mess into your life and messing your stuff up. Okay. Um. Right. And, you know, people are always going to prefer what they prefer. Like this dude in here saying he's black and he prefers white women. And I have no issue with that because if y'all children are just going to be brown anyway. So none of it even matters if you really think about it in the long term. In the long run, everybody children go be brown, whoever get with who. You get two black people get together, their children go be brown. A white person and a black person get together, their children go be brown or tan. A black person, a black man and a white woman get together, their children go be tan or brown. A black man and a black woman and a mixed woman get together, their kids gonna be brown. Brown, brown, brown. Okay, it doesn't matter. So, why are you laughing? It's true. Um, you're gonna have a bunch of Mariah Carey's, Bruno Mars, um, Come on, kitty. Selena's, um, y'all name a few. Halle Berry, Beyonce. I know Beyonce mixed with her mom's Creole. Uh, but y'all know what I'm saying. Everybody's gonna come out brown, so it doesn't matter, you know. Um, and most likely they'll, the women will marry back brown, like they always do. Alicia Keys, right, right, right. But she's got, but, but Mariah Carey looks white, but she got brown kids or tan kids. Yep. So, right. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Anyway, so what I was saying is no matter who you, even if you go with a Latino man, your kids still gonna be brown. If you go with an Asian man, you're gonna have brown skin with slanted eyes you know um people think layla is half asian because of her eyes but that's it her daddy has eyes like that <laughs> so come on kitty so it doesn't matter as long as you are happy mm -hmm. your kids are whiter than they're dead and you're black. Oh, well, they may they may darken up or their features may grow or they can still produce darker children. They may be uh they may marry darker or they may marry out, you know, back into a circle. That's how it always is. And my mix. My dad is Puerto Rican and my mom is black. So 
I am mixed with Black and Latino. But I was raised by my mother, who is Black. So I was raised around Black family, et cetera, et cetera. And then she married a white man. And so uh, my stepfather, he is white. But that came, like, she married him later on when I was already, like, grown. Like, not grown, but, like, a teenager. So, um... My mom is biracial, black and white, and my dad is black, see? So it doesn't matter. As long as you happy, you got that money, you living good, go ahead and do what you got to do. Your kids going to come out brown or tan anyway, so have a good time. Have fun, you know. Or stay with whoever you want to stay with and have kids that look just like you and have a good time there too, you know. But have a good time and get your money. All the kids going to come out brown anyway, brown or tan in the future. They already said America in about 20 to 30 years is going to be all brown anyway. So it really won't matter in about 50 years. Like this conversation will probably be like people will watch it and laugh in about 50 years if they still got YouTube. So they're going to be like... <laughs> Look at this old video of this lady with these crazy eyelashes talking about uh, dating outside. Well, everybody's the same race now where we are. So everybody's brown. She was right. She's psychic. But um, so just think about 50 years from now. That's what it's going to be. Everybody's going to be brown, tan, black, red, yellow, tan, whatever. All the colors in the Fenty um. Uh, Spectrum. <laughs> okay. Um, what about your DUIs and assault record? What about them? I already explained it the other day. Y'all always trying to bring people down because y'all can't get up. Yeah. Let me tell y'all about my um uh, my past that most everybody did had. I had the money to hire lawyers for the DI, the DUI, and I wasn't even driving. I was pulling out of Taco Bell at two o'clock in the morning. You know them cops be waiting. So I had the money because I had a man who could pay all my bills to hire a lawyer who got me off. All I had to do was pay a few fines, and I was done, baby. I also had a lawyer. <laughs> I didn't have to do nothing. Just get paid. That was a long time ago in my 20s. Oh, my God. But, no, I was, y'all know how it is when you come out the club and you go to Taco Bell. Them cops were sitting outside of Taco Bell. They be setting you up. Don't do it. But, um, honestly, I had enough money to get out of that situation. So, I was thankful that I did. Um, your mom got a DUI. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, you know, they was cracking down. Um, I'm not ashamed of my past. Nothing can shame me, you know. Um, uh, and the reason why is because I don't care. Y'all ain't paying my bills. Y'all didn't pay for my lawyer. <sighs> okay. <laughs> the only thing y'all can pay for is internet can do is pay is come on here and be hating because y'all don't have a life. But that's fine. Go for it. I mean, if that's all you got, go. They act like people don't make mistakes. I'm going to make every mistake so I know what to do, how to do it the next time, how to help other people get out of it, what to, what to say. Da, da, da. Yeah, I'm experienced. I have a lot of experience. I must have had so much fun. Girl, I had too much fun. <laughs> has your mom ever dated a black man? Yes, she has. But um, she dated back in the 80s and the 70s, child, you know. Um, I was by her money. She was trying to get up out of her situations. So back in the eighties and the nineties, you know, um, well in, in Texas, like in the late sixties and early seventies, it became legal to marry outside of your race. So, you know, with that, you know, people want to experiment. Oh, I'm going to do that, you know, but she has, yeah, several. Uh-huh. <laughs> What about my class? Clarence, why are you in everybody's business? Are you, do you have a YouTube channel where you spew out everybody's business? You need some information? Clarence, you should be better than that. 
don't tell them don't worry i ain't coming after their pennies baby tell them tell them don't worry about it i'm not coming after their little pennies in their garage tell them they good tell them have fun in the darkness um Tell them they can, they can hide their piggy bank. I ain't coming after them. I have other things to do, more important. Um, I chose to stop dating colors, black men, focus on men of other races instead. Matthew. Okay. Well, you know, like I said, people are exactly exactly what you said people are going to be who they are going to be you can't change them so go where you get in where you fit in exactly i agree with that um <laughs> clarence is playing checkers yeah clarence you was on chapstick lounge wouldn't you what you doing on chapstick lounge clarence you a man <laughs> i think people should focus on quality rather than color Right. My daughter. Oh, I'm sorry. You seen everybody say um, my condolences. Um, where I'm trying to read some of these. They're going too fast. Good thing about money. It's always green. Right. Mm-hmm. So who, wherever you fit in, get in. That's my best advice that I could give you. I don't, I don't even dig into the problems because I don't care enough to dig into the problems. I just get in where I fit in. I'm not, I'm not trying to do surgery and dissect issues and pull issues out and create issues where there are no issues you just the best thing you can do and i'm gonna tell y'all is to just get in where you fit in so you can hurry up and get some money and continue on with your life that is the best thing you can do and like i said it doesn't matter if you um you know get in where you fit in sometimes you don't get what you want in life but you can get the life that you want you see what i'm saying think about this for a second Sometimes you don't get what you want in life, but you can get the life you want. I would sacrifice one thing for an entire life that I wanted, but sacrifice one thing to get the whole life instead of just focus on one thing. So many people focus on that one thing. I got to have this. I got to have this one thing. And they sacrifice their entire life to have that one thing when they could have the whole life and have sacrificed that one thing. And sometimes it's not a permanent sacrifice. Sometimes it may come later on after you've already had the life you want or, you know, get the life you want. Sometimes it may come later, later, later on. Um, so it doesn't matter. Or you could have had it before and no longer have it and then mess up and try to sacrifice your entire life to get it again. when You've already had it. You've experienced it. You had it. Thank you. But now I got to go get this life, you see, because at the end of the day, when you look back on your life, what are you going to see? Happiness or struggle? You always have memories of the people that you've been with. You've always had memories of the people that you dated. You're always going to have memories of past relationships, blah, 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 blah. But you're not, you may not ever get the life that you want. By going after one thing, we should be going after everything and sacrificing maybe one thing. You know, a lot of people say, well, I don't want an older man, an older man. But y'all going to sacrifice y'all entire life looking for somebody that may or may not exist instead of getting the life. And then worried about that thing that you sacrificed later on, which you probably already had. How many young men? 50, 60? Just kidding. How many young men have you dated since you started dating? How many young men? A lot, right? So have they given you the lifestyle that you desire? No. Will they ever? Probably not. So you got to do what you got to do. If you ever, 
Exactly. So that's, a, you know, the same thing, interracial swirling, dating outside your race, dating outside your age range. It's the same thing. You're going to get the life you want by sacrificing something else. And it may not be a permanent sacrifice. You know, that person could die. That person could divorce you. You could do something else the, the next go around. But you got your life. You got that money. You got that divorce settlement. You got that child support. You know, you got that deed. So the whole point is make sure you think first and think about this on a different level. Okay. Sometimes it's not what it seems. And sometimes it's not a permanent decision. And sometimes it don't even lead to marriage. And sometimes that's just all it is, is a date. So y'all just got to think about it and make the best decision for yourself. Because if you don't, you may find yourself wondering, well, I wish I would have tried this, or I wish I would have experienced this. And then you won't be able to do it anymore once you get a certain age or, you know, in a certain situation. Mm hmm. Um. Right. Yeah. You know, I already already talked about my uh, my trolls yesterday because I see there's some in here. We don't care, baby. We know y'all wake up to to think about me. Thank you. I'm honored. Um. When you wake up thinking about me, I'm honored. Like seriously. I mean, I don't even wake up thinking about anybody but my kids, but. I guess I'm very important to some people. So do what you got to do. Whatever makes you feel better about yourself, have a good time. It's all for your self-esteem, not mine. Like I already have very high self-esteem. If it makes you feel good to call me names and it's going to help your day, it's going to boost your self-esteem, go right ahead. I'm all for boosting self-esteem. I will, I will be your sacrifice. Um, Because you don't bother me. You sitting in there in the dark trying to get a uh, Free Wi-Fi from uh, Seven Eleven. <laughs> anyway, free McDonald's, free Wi-Fi McDonald's, uh -huh. Motel Six. <laughs> you know, um. Yes, I'm a scammer. What else would I be? Shoot. I scam for money, just like I'm teaching other women to do it. Duh. You right about that? I scam you every morning when I steal your thoughts. As soon as you open your eyes. Sure, seven. Yes. I scam you on a daily. I steal your peace. I steal your thoughts. I steal your time. I just scam it all, baby. I, I'm taking it all. And I will steal your... <laughs> if you had a man, he's probably watching too, wishing I would steal him. But he, you ain't got no man. So that's not possible. Um. Oh, she, were you looking like a teenager? Boo, sprinkle, sprinkle, gorgeous. Thank you, girl. Hey. Um. Oh, y'all love sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, go ahead, hide your pain. Yes, I'm, I'm hiding my pain. It, it's so, you know what? I need some CBD oil for this pain. I left it downstairs. Um, it really hurts that people wake up thinking about me. I mean, let me tell y'all, if you've ever experienced someone who wakes up and thinks about you, you know the pain. It is very painful. Um, it hurts so bad. It's like, why are these people thinking about me the first thing in the morning? Oh my gosh. What have I ever done to people but be the best version of myself? Yeah, you're right. I sit and cry every night before I go to bed. Um, I get it all out. I blow my nose. And then I sleep like a baby in my nice house. Talk to the fans. Hey, me your money. Hey, how you doing, girl? How you doing? Yes. That talk to the fans, not the dusties. You are right. Let me talk to some of these fans. Roxana Charles. Hey. Truth fan. Hey. Victoria Queen. Hey. C Renee. Hey. 
be Anastasia. Hey, no, these are not clip-ins, baby. This is my hair. I do have clip-ins that I could put in to make it thicker, but this is my hair. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, your videos have helped me so much, Miss Parker says. Oh, thank you. But back to the topic at hand. Mm -hmm. I think Clarence is really another person that is triggered. And let me tell you all about Clarence. Clarence is not really Clarence. It's a, it's a woman who lives in a garage. Thank you, Mia Nicole. You look beautiful, Auntie. Keep making a mat. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hey, how you doing? Thank you, Mia. I will. Because I'm going to tell some tea. Tea. Y'all ready for some tea about Clarence, Clarencia or whatever? Um, oh, are they gone? Maybe I shouldn't spill their tea since they're gone. Maybe they left me alone. See, I ain't, I don't attack. I just respond. Yeah, I don't go on people's channel and troll them. I only respond to troll. Okay, okay, here we go. Um, okay. So Clarence is this um, bald-headed lady that lives in a garage in California who used to have um, a job until she was fired for scamming uh, food stamps. Y'all want to get some? Y'all want some tea? And. Um, <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I don't give names. I don't do nothing. I'm not, I'm not like them, but that's the tea for her. Bad because she got caught and now she live in a garage. And uh ooh. see I got I got information too, but I don't just I don't put it out there like that because I'm classy. But you come on my channel, I'm I have no choice. I must defend my terror. You come here looking for trouble. That's silly. All I do is try to help other women. And you over here mad because you live in a garage because you got cows scamming for food stamps. Got you and your friend fired. You know, I could have ta I could have taken that settlement that y'all were trying to file to get wrongful termination. I could have taken that, but it wasn't enough to even bother hiring a, lot, a lawyer for how, the, the amount I was going to get. So that's why I left y'all alone because y'all didn't have enough for me to take. Y'all house ain't worth nothing. I already looked into it. Okay. It's in the ghetto and I don't want it. That's why you ain't, that's why I'm not suing y'all. So just, just keep that in your mind. Thank you, Miss Parker. Can I volunteer at wealthy events to make me a boyfriend? Sure. That's a great idea. Miss Parker. I always tell women to go volunteer at nice, you know, fundraisers or gala, galas and stuff like that. And then go and mingle and stuff like that with the men. So, um, yes. Mm -hmm. My children are by the same father, um, Miss Garage Lady. Um, and it reminds me of that time when you um, talked to me about this man that you wanted who had a wife and he, and he was of a different race and he didn't want to be with you after that because he was married. Hmm. Maybe this title triggered you. Okay. I'm sorry about that, but you know, he was married and he wasn't going to leave his wife for you. You weren't his type. He just used you. Sorry. Um, and I tried to tell you that, but you didn't listen. Okay, so. Sasha looks like James. Yeah, Sasha looks like me and James. Layla looks like James. She has his um, eyes as well. But, you know, everybody wants to say something, something, something. I don't care. Even if I did have two different daddies. Oh, well, my kids still look good. That means I'm getting two separate child support checks if I had if I did so I still be winning what <laughs> right so um I think she, I think she's mad because she doesn't have the life she wants because she sacrificed her life over a dusty and since she couldn't get her dusty to pay attention to her or her other baby daddies to pay attention to her she had to go and scam for welfare 
or food stamps and got fired. Okay, this is very important in life by who we date and who we choose to procreate with because you may end up on somebody's YouTube channel in a garage stealing Wi-Fi from apartment complexes or 7-Eleven that's nearby who may still have may or may not still have power. You may be trolling uh, other people because you didn't step up and get the life that you wanted when you should have. You done wasted your 20s on Dusties and now you can't do it. You know, so, and now you mad at everybody and they mama because you, your life sucks. Okay. Now you mad at interracial dating. Now you mad at anybody who um, is living better than you because your married fling did not want you no more. Okay. <laughs> Don't be mad. Just learn from the lessons and get it. My mom has been married four times. You sure right? You, how many times you been married? Zero. My mom can get a man. Can you? Okay. Now, how many times you been married? Zero. My mama must look better than you then. Hey. And she had kids, so it is possible. I, I'm tell. I'm here to. And she married interracially too. You can't even. You can't do none of it. So I don't know why that's a, I don't understand why that's a, a bad thing. I think that's good. I, I told y'all my mom been married so many times. I, got, I told y'all I had stepdaddies. This person's not paying attention. Thank you, Miss Parker. What are you talk? What are talking points to connect with non-black men? Um, those child. All men like to talk about themselves, but act very interested and, um, you know, attracted and. Smile, um, I, I would say smile and just listen more. I would rep I would recommend being um, very entertained, I'll say. Thank you, Victoria Queen, maybe laugh and stuff like that. Good evening, Auntie. Hey, sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. I'm just James side piece. You're right. I'm his side piece and his wife at the same time. That's why I got all them wigs, baby. You want one? You need a wig? Your head, your head getting cold? Um, different outfits for different days, different wigs. Hey. Oh, excuse my maids. They're vacuuming. You have carpet in your garage? Uh, Miss Clarence. Right. So if you're already into, in an interracial marriage or relationship and things are going great, wonderful. And maybe y'all could um, tell some of your experiences in the comments after the video uploads in the permanent comments. And you might answer other people's questions that may have questions about it and your experience. Mm hmm. Must be so miserable not being loved. Yep. It's so miserable not being loved. It must be hot in that garage, too. <laughs> or it must be hot wherever you are. Because you sure are hot and bothered. It is miserable not being loved. Oh, my gosh. Like, when my kids come home and they say, Mommy, I missed you. I love you. You know. I don't really consider that love. I just consider it, you know, they're just saying that to make me feel better about myself and to get something out of me. I just, I feel that, but you know, <laughs> ah, right. Sheila, what does MJ want to say in Man in the Mirror? He wants to, he wants you to make that change. Make that change. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. Oh my God! I just checked out Clarence's channel. Is that what she looks like, girl? I don't, I don't know. 
All I know is when people wake up thinking about you every day, that is love. Okay? That is love. So I do feel loved by my trolls, by everyone who clicks on when they see me live. I feel love. I feel love for my children. I feel love for my husband. I feel love for my animals. I feel a lot of love. So um, I feel love from the trolls most often. Sure is someone a very envious of. I know. I mean, like, if I was jealous of somebody, they would never know. If, if I was envious of somebody, they would never know because that would make them even more, you know, confident. I would never tell somebody I was jealous of them. The audacity. And that's another thing that interracial couples have to deal with, the jealousy, you know. Uh, maybe someone wanted to date outside of their race and couldn't, but you can, so they're mad at you for doing it. And they, they say, oh, well, you shouldn't do that because they may not have the option to. You know, you got to also think about this. Or they may, they may watch someone, you know, bob the bill of somebody, and then they go off and get another person that's not their own race and give them all the benefits, and they may get mad at that. But like I said, if you always just put yourself first, you never have to worry about being used. You will always walk out with something. You will always win because you put yourself first, no matter what. So we can't really blame dating other races or well, they don't treat me right or da 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 da. We can only blame ourselves for allowing that treatment. So if you know, if you've dated and you've learned your lessons, you know what to do. And it's up to you from that point on. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I saw a good question. Shira, what advice do you have for black women trying to attract wealthy white or non-black men? Hang out where they hang out. Be um, be the type of woman that they are attracted to. Most of those type of men are attracted to more slender women, you know, um, that probably will fit into their circles. Someone who is not ratchet. I'm not saying you're ratchet, but, you know, someone who will blend right on in into their um, circles. Someone who is not, you know, um, <laughs> Who, who's not going to, you know, make them stand out when they go out to dinner and things like that, you know, so you, how you dress, how you speak, how you walk, how you talk, how you wear your clothes, hair, hey, nails. Um, so basically, if you stay classy and your demeanor stays soft and feminine, you're most likely to be able to get a man of wealth if you are in, you know, the category of um, the type of bodies that they like, as well as your demeanor. So, um, if you ever see couples like interracial couples, study the, how the woman is and study why the man likes her. And maybe you can get some pointers. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of people on YouTube that have channels about this. So check them out, I guess. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Said I look good, girl. Thank you, girl. Can I talk about intercultural relationships? Um, intercultural. Well, that's probably even harder because, when, you know, religions, culture, customs, you know, may clash. You may have opposite beliefs. So one may, one has to care more than the other about their own culture and one has to care less in order to um, be happy in that situation. Or they both have to not care and start their own um, traditions and culture without being, you know, boxed in by them. So I feel that it's a sacrifice. Everything is a sacrifice. You're going to have to sacrifice something to get what you want in this life. I would rather sacrifice one thing than the entire lifestyle. You know. Mm hmm. I think people should have more than any type of just, you know, one narrow type of interest. You should have all interests. Like I have so many interests. I can, I can impress anything and even an alien. Okay. If you ain't, if you're not able to impress an alien, what you doing with your life? 
Okay. Be that impressive. Okay. Shoot. When, well, if, if aliens ever land, I'm telling you, you're going to have inter intergalactic relationships then. Hey. Girl, I'm in an intergalactic relationship. Mm -hmm. My kid's going to be green, maybe blue, depending on what, what side of the... <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Shoot, I'm well. Maybe next lifetime, right? Come back and get you an alien, girl. I want that alien. Cool girl, he about eight feet tall. Um, he's skinny though, girl. He's skinny. He could eat and never get fat. I wish I had that DNA. That's why I made some babies for him. They can go to the buffet and eat all day and never get fat. <sighs> girl he don't even need money he got mind powers if I want a purse it would just appear I'm telling you get you an alien he said oh my god I had a Chanel bag right in my hand and it hadn't even came out yet he could see the future he can go get bags from the future girl I'm telling you get you an alien y'all think I'm playing with this alien Ew, but it's so skinny and it has big giant eyes and oh. girl, you still you driving a Tesla? I'm in a spaceship, okay? <laughs> okay, on our first day, we went to Mars. Where you went? Applebee's. So I'm I'm joking because I, I just wanted to show y'all how <laughs> some people sacrifice things when they can have the most and worried about the least little thing. You know, you're worried about one thing when you there's so many other things. Um. Right. I am a scammer. I will scam you. I will scam, scam, scam until I can't scam no more. I, I, I told you, Clarence. That's why you on this channel, lady. It, it's really a lady. I scammed her out of her mind, obviously. I wake up on her mind. Go to sleep on her mind. I'm on her mind all day, all night, and scammed your mind. <laughs> but that's because the alien taught me how to do that. And I, I, but when we broke up, he got mad and sent me back in time. And that's why I'm here with y'all today. <laughs> so, Shira, I, you know, you matter how they come for you, you turn it into a. <laughs> yeah, I just try to make it part of the fun. Um, Thank you, Nina. Love your content. You are a realist. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah. So, and remember, if you ever read, well, I, you probably never read it, but if you peace or, no, no, The Art of War. War and Peace. I ain't read that either. The Art of War. If, you, if you've ever read The Art of War, every decision that you must make should be strategic and beneficial to your future and your future offspring. Um, and also to your plan and your goal and your whatever your mission, your battle plan. It should be based on whatever you're trying to accomplish. Don't just do stuff just to do it and get it out of your, you know, oh, I, I just wanted to do that. Oh, I just made a rash decision to do that. No, you, you got to really think about stuff. I mean, thank you, Kelsey Loves Life. You are hilarious. I love your videos. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. Um, so, oh yeah, let me let me get my. Thank you for reminding me. My drops, my elixirs, y'all. It's on my Etsy store below. These are these are really good to raise your frequency, so you know how to deal with them haters. Um.
if y'all on my other channel, y'all know about that. But the whole point is make sure every decision you make, you have the outcome in mind. Don't end up like Garage P. Henson over here, mad at the world because she made mistake after mistake, after mistake, after mistake, after mistake, after mistake, after mistake, after mistake and still didn't learn a thing. So make sure you think about what you do before you do it. Because sometimes it's better to scam and be strategic than be stupid and in a mess that you can't get out of. Okay. Um, thank you, DK Kelta. No. Katya. How do I date? Hold on, let me get this question. With, I'm so scared to disclose, love your page of that, HSV2, um, maybe they have a website or a dating site. And I also feel that if you, if you're, um, if you're worried about that, stick to people that are going to accept it or, you know, find somebody that's not going to care about it. You know, like the, your target is number one. The number one thing you got to do is pick the correct target. Disclose the information when you already know that they're super into you. Sometimes they won't even care. They'll be like, oh, I got it too. Or, um, well, how can we, you know, be safe or whatever, whatever. They'll ask you questions before they just totally dismiss you. Because, I mean, if you look at the best thing they ever had, they're not going to just throw you in the trash. So just think about all your options and make sure you choose the correct targets. Okay. Sure, you look so pretty. Thank you. Let me set my clock though. Um, I hope they're almost done because it's loud out there. Okay. Yeah. So, and like I said, y'all are free to um discuss this topic in the comments with each other. I just hope that you keep in mind that what I said about sacrificing one thing for an entire lifestyle versus sacrificing a lifestyle for one thing, get in where you fit in and make the best for yourself and then go from there. Always first and foremost, because if you don't look after you, nobody else will. It don't matter what you look like, what color you are, no one is going to put you first if you don't put you first, no matter what. Sugar Daddy wants to test drive my car with issues. I have fixed himself instead. He wants to fix himself and get money. Da -da 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 -da. Oil change. Girl, what kind of rich man wants to drive a, a car that's broken and try to change the oil himself? He ain't rich. Girl. You better go borrow somebody's raggedy car or you better <coughs> pull out some, uh, what you call them thing? Some fuses or something, child. I don't know. Or you better say it's already in the shop. Go park it somewhere else. It's already in the shop. They won't give me my keys. Tell them it's in the ghetto. He ain't going there. Well, where's this shop at? Well, we have to go get it. Where is it? Name the worst part of town where he you, you know he gonna get robbed. Just name that side of town. He ain't gonna he gonna get the money. Well, I don't want to go because it's too dangerous. So I'm gonna send my brother to pick it up or my cousin or my you know my uncle or whatever. You better come up with these good lies. Better come up with these good scams. Okay. <laughs> Um, Diana, Diana, didn't I tell you not to say that you were never going to have sex with somebody? It, when you say I'm not having sex with you on the first date, first of all, that was probably an insult to him if he didn't ask you to. And if he did, then he just thought you were an escort anyway. So time saved and move on to the next. Thank you, Starg1RL. 
Thank you, Shira. I'm 21. He's 55 and he just gave me emergency mortgage. What does it mean if he already wants a relationship and to track your phone, but provide girl track your phone. You better get two phones. Girl, help. anybody who wants to track your phone is a control freak and wants to make sure you're not cheating on them if they're getting ready to invest heavily into you. So I suggest getting you another phone and getting that money, baby. Need two phones. Okay? Girl, let him track that little phone and you be on your other phone. Y'all, they act like phones are expensive these days. Look. You want to track your location. All you got to do is leave your phone at your house and take your other one. And have the number. Um, look, let me tell you how to do it. Have the number forwarded to your other phone. So if you call, hello. Yeah, I'm just at home. See, women are smarter than men. Ain't no man going to get over on a woman. Come on now. Especially a scammer. Okay. All you got to do is forward that number to that other phone. Leave your phone at home. Put it at the, you know, leave it, leave it at your mama house. So he don't be coming over there looking for you. Forward it. Man, you good, hey? Um, you told a Dusty he wasn't man enough for me and he got offended and called me B and told me you ain't, well, he was really telling himself that, me or more, sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, whatever he said to you is how you made him feel. So he wanted to make you feel it back. So, of course he said that. We expect him to say, you're right. I'm so sorry. Let me go and get some money. No, he said exactly how you made him feel. Back to you. Would I? Would you be with a white man, but it's just a fetish, but he has money? Um, if I were in a situation where I really needed that money um, and I knew it was a fetish, I would I probably wouldn't sleep with him, but I'll probably get that money. <laughs> okay. And not because uh I wouldn't sleep with him because I wasn't, you know, wanting to. It's just I wouldn't do it if I knew it was a fetish and I wasn't trying to be with him anyway and I was just trying to get his money. I would need to do that. You know, I would just get the money. I would always just be after the money first and foremost, no matter who it was, unless they wanted to have a future and have you know, children and give me them deeds and them, you know, insurances and all that stuff, then you would have to consider something else if that's also what you wanted. But if they just trying to date for a fetish, lead them on until they can't be led on no more and just get their money. And that's with anybody. I'm not just saying for one type of person, that's for anybody. Shoot, I don't discriminate. Just get, get your money from whoever you can get it from. And if you want to date them, date them long term. If you don't, be out. That's what they do to us. So who cares? And some, you know, someone told me, oh, uh, you're not a good role model. Duh. I am not a good role model, but I get results. Okay. I am not a politically correct I'm a person. I'm not a good role model. I'm not trying to run for president. <laughs> I guess people are calling me a scammer. Okay, but do I have what I want in my life? Chick. Do you? X. No. So guess what? Someone smarter than the other one. Um, I got results. That's all that matters. Exactly. Okay. And when y'all come for people like that, you know, think about your boss. Think about your boss. Are they a good person? Probably not. Are they a role model? Probably not. Do you like them? Probably not. Do they make more money than you? Yup. <laughs> are they are they winning? Probably more than you are. So Think about it. it. I don't have to be good. I don't have to be correct. I don't have to be politically correct. I just got to have the results that you want in order for you to be upset. 
and try to get me to be a certain way. I don't want to be that way. If I did, I'd be that way. I don't want to be that way. That way don't pay. <laughs> okay. And everyone knows this. I could lie. I could be like, oh, ladies, be the best. Do this. Be nice. Be humble. Be kind. Just be patient. Wait. And I probably have way more subscribers because people always want to hear what they want to hear and not what they need to hear. Okay. And I've seen so many people that give that garbage message and never get results. It got a lot of subscribers and none of them got results. They still, they still asking the same questions, you know, but that's fine. You know, people like to hear what they want to hear, but people hate to hear what they need to hear. You know, they hate to hear what they need to hear until it start working. Then they start listening. And I think if most people just start listening instead of trying to only hear what they want to hear, their lives will change. And if you if you're seeking change, you're gonna have to change. Okay. You're gonna have to change. It's not the outside people that's gonna change. It's gonna be you first. You gotta change first. Uh, like men in a mirror, right? <laughs> Make that change. So once you change, you'll see the difference and you'll understand why I am the way that I am because you'll be that way too. <laughs> okay. You're not going to let other people rule your life. You're not going to wait for other people's approval to do things. You're not going to worry about do do I come off as nice or kind or good? You ain't going to care about that stuff no more because you're going to be too busy living the life that you want instead of living your life for other people. And once you start living the life that you desire and that you want, you will understand why you have to be a certain way to get it. OK, so I don't mind being called every name, y'all. You know, the, the, um, the trolls want to call me. I don't mind because. I have to do what I have to do to get what I have to get. And I'll tell other people how to do it. And that's it. Yeah. Um, true. Some wealthy men are aware of gold digger tactics. We need a level. We need some next level smoke in there. Oh, I talked about that yesterday on my other, uh, on this channel, actually. Just in case, always start off by addressing that first and foremost before they can. And I'm going to tell you in a second. Amanda, thank you. Hi, Sharon. I'm trying to look to book a consult with you. I went to Etsy. What's the correct site? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll look at it. I have, probably haven't checked it today, but I will. Thank you. If you wrote me on Etsy, I'll find it today. Thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So um, what was I saying? Oh, beat the man to tr trying to use the gold digger thing. It's like, oh my gosh, it is so refreshing going out with the gentleman. I mean, most people think I'm a gold digger because I look a certain way. And so they automatically assume they don't even really get to know me and da 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 da, -da. You know, um, so a lot, like some guys start just by saying, well, I had someone try to scam me. And that's just, that's just really sad that, this is happening to you guys. And, you know, um, I wouldn't, I would never scam anyone. I mean, I'm always open and honest with, you know, anything. Like if I really need something and I'm dating, you know, someone that, um, I really care for, see, this is where the psychology comes in that I really care for, you know, I don't mind sharing the things with him that I might need so that, you know, if he wants to help me, he can help me. Throw that in there. Throw that in reverse psychology in there. Thank you, Coco Brown. Sheila, what to do when you want to have fun? What do you mean when you want to have fun? Go out with your friends. Go have fun with your friends. You know, you don't have to be with the man 24-7. Go have fun. Go do what you got to do. You know, you know, that's why you have your personal time. Mm -hmm. So beat him to the punch. Make him seem like if you really care about him, you won't mind sharing things about your life or, you know, your vulnerabilities and things you may need. <laughs> Instead of just, you know, 
uh, not communicating. So beat them to the punch. You got to beat them before they beat you. Okay, beat them before they beat you. You know how the first thing that come out their mouth? Well, the first type of woman I dated, but you aren't a gold digger, are you? Come, come back with, no, I, you know how many men ask me that? Maybe, do I look like a gold digger? Oh my gosh. You know, no, you know, I really like to get to know you and, you know, you know, see what you're about and really just get um, close. And, you know, if I feel um, very attracted and close to someone and, you know, very into them, I will share things and I will share my vulnerabilities and things that I may need, you know, um, just so that that line of communication is open. I'll get into it. Fun with a provider so you lie about a lot than you. What? Fun with a provider so you lie about a lot than you. That I don't know if that makes sense. So um, you can have fun with a provider and his money, baby. Yes. Think about this. You got a provider. He got money. And he says, where do you want to go on vacation? You pick. What kind of, you can have a lot of fun there. You know? Oh. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? You pick. Go have fun. Go go stuff you want to do. Go do what you want to do. You know. Mm -hmm. I'm not, see. I I'm used to going out by myself. So I don't care if I'm dragging somebody else along. Shoot, you know if they old, they're gonna be take, taking naps anyway, and I'm still be doing what I'm doing. You know, <laughs> with they money. Um. Sure. Will playing the good traditional woman role along with a leveled up look convince a provider man that you want to marry just for love? Nope. Because he'll get bored of you and go get him a, a, a somebody else. Traditional women get ran over. These are the type of women that these wealthy men marry and end up looking plain Jane and letting them cheat on them right in front of their faces. If that's what you want to be, fine. But most wealthy men will marry someone who is a challenge to them and um, who looks good and it's not super traditional because they have maids. You know, they have money to pay for services. They don't need you to be the maid and the cook. And even if they did, they would, if you ain't cooking and, and cleaning as their girlfriend, they know you ain't uh, going to be cooking and cleaning as a wife, you know, on that, especially if you say you can't cook or you burn food and you know whatever, whatever. But in this day and age, most men that have money are not worried about that. That's more for you know someone who can't afford to take you out to eat or pay for certain services. I own a couple of designer purses and high heels. Would you recommend wearing them on two dates or no? Um, yes, I definitely recommend the high heels. Um, the purse is fine, um, but, you know, don't overdo designer, like don't do designer everything. One designer item to one or two designer items is cool as long as it's not like super ghetto and logo everywhere. Because like, say if you're going to a five star restaurant and you have all these old ladies and, you know, rich people in there and you got this like Gucci purses with, you know, Gucci purses with, you know, stuff all over it and, you know, the shoes to match and whatever, whatever, that's going to stand out. So you need to be more classy with your designer. Thank you, Coco. Shira, what do you do when you want to have fun with a provider? So you lie about a lot, then you choose him to marry. How do you clean it up? Tell him you didn't know him. You was for your safety. You don't tell everybody everything. And then it's like getting to know you all over again. So the marriage will be fresh. Okay. <laughs> Um, and it depends on what you lied about too. So if they're not big deals and you're good, just always blame it on crazy people. It works every time. I don't know if you was crazy. So I had to tell you that story and then I never knew it was going to get this serious, but blah, 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 blah. Right. I lied about my name to my sugar daddy, told him the safety part, and he understood. They always going to understand. All you got to do is blame it on crazy people and stalkers. Tell them you're paranoid because every night you sit at home and watch forensic files. 
it'll work. How do you downplay your success, Alexandria? And attract the man, lie about your um, career. Tell everybody that that's your roommates, your moms, your sisters. Don't ever claim it. Mm -hmm. It's not yours. Is it Jane cook for you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Do I cook or order? I, I mostly order. I hate cooking. It's not that I hate cooking. It's just that I have a degree in culinary arts. I cook gourmet food. I am bougie. And nobody in this house eat that type of food. And, you know, when you have picky eaters, they all want something different. I ain't finna do all of that work. Let me just, let's just go order something. Everybody order what they want. You know, I cook every once in a while, but I'm not cooking for five different meals. Okay, I ain't finna do all of that. Sasha likes this. Layla likes that. James like this. I like that. I'll be cooking all day if I did that. Y'all order what y'all want or cook what y'all want. There's stuff in the fridge. Y'all make this, make that. I'll help you. if you, I, I, I'm teaching Layla how to cook the stuff she likes, but I'm not going to do all that extra work just to say I'm a good mother. I'm a good mother because I can afford to order you whatever you want and teach you how to cook it if you want me to. Okay. <laughs> um. There. Get your personal chef. I don't need nobody up in my house all day. Look, we got a personal chef at the restaurant. <laughs> okay. At dining, uh, what's it called? I have the app on my phone. Hold on. Grub Hood, Postmates, what else I got? Dine, Dash Dine, DoorDash. I got all of them. They come, they go to every restaurant. Um. Plus, I don't have to wash dishes, or anybody has to wash dishes. This kitchen stays pretty decent, unless the kids make a mess. What kind of cuisine? Y'all know, at one time, I made ravioli from scratch. I made the pasta from, because this is what I was doing. I can't do that with these kids and these picky eaters and stuff. I ain't finna do all of that. No. When I cook, I'm supposed to be getting paid. I am a professional. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like I make real stuff. <laughs> do you enjoy baking? Uh, I don't really. I, it's okay. You know, when once you do something for so long and get paid for it and you know how the ins and outs of it, it's not that entertaining anymore. <laughs> you know, thank you, China Doll. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Getting a new car today. What to wear to dealership. Car will be in my name. His down payment. He will make the payments. It's the smart. He says house is next for us. Yay. Wear something feminine so that he feels confident in buying. Wear pink, baby. Get you a cute pink dress or you know, maybe a lavender. Like just something feminine. Wear a dress and some heels. Don't, you know, remind him why he buying this for you. When, do you wear heels with him? I mean, just wear something feminine then. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 90s Bob. Yes, that was my thing. Y'all was going for 90s. Hey, someone recognized. Yeah, I would go for a feminine look. That way, like mentally subliminally in a man's mind when you look very feminine they want to do things for you so whatever you can find that's really feminine i wore i wore heels to the place my car my heels getting my car my cute dress on but you know um we were at the i don't know what kind of car you get maybe it don't require heels i don't know um Thank you, Manifest Life. Hi, Shira. I have a second date with a potential sugar daddy. He's definitely into me and says he likes to spoil women. When is it a good time to start asking for stuff? What is the best way to go about it? Um, 
talk about it, baby. Talk about the stuff you like. Whenever you see someone with nice jewelry, oh my God, I love her ring. Oh my God, I love her dress. Oh my God, I love those shoes. Oh my gosh, dude. But it didn't have to be that shallow sounding. What are you doing? Oh, I'm looking at these really cute shoes that I love. They're so beautiful. I think you would love them. Well, why don't you get them? <laughs> They're $600. Oh, well, I'll buy them for you. You see? So you just talk about the things that you like when they're asked, what you doing? How was your day? Every time, it's just like YouTube. Pop-up commercial. Okay? You know, you're trying to watch the video and then something pops up. That's how you got to do it. <laughs> Work it in there, baby. Work it in there. Or skip the ad. <laughs> right. So, for example, oh, I'm so glad you met, you know, I'm so glad, you know, to see you again. Oh my gosh, I almost didn't make it because uh, my something broke or, um, I couldn't find anything to wear. I mean, you know, something stupid like that. Well, I'll take you shopping. Interracial marriages should be condemned at all. Does it pollute the gene pool with its offspring? Pollute. Off the grid. Oh, I know what you are. <laughs> it doesn't pollute anything. It might purify. You know, I mean, don't be mad. Don't be mad. She was sugar daddy voice cracked me up. <laughs> the future is mixed. Yell, yelling, popping. <laughs> Off the grid. So true. I'd rather be with my people. That's fine. Be with your people. Be with your people, and everybody will be people, just like they were before they were people. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Like I said, do what y'all want to do, because um, everybody's going to be brown anyway in the future. That's just what it is. I didn't say that there weren't going to be black people. I just said that everyone was going to be brown. Eventually. Mm -hmm. Which language other than English is best to learn for attracting rich men? Girl, I don't know. Everybody know English. You might seem too smart to be with them if you know another language, girl. If I knew another language, I'd keep it secret, if you know what I mean. You said French. <laughs> Latin. Oh, yes, yeah, so I know Latin. That ain't going to help you, but they might think it's sexy. Well, I ain't going to be working that hard, shoot. My target ain't going to care. That's just my opinion. I mean, like, I ain't going to do all of that work. Learn a whole nother language. No. You got to just be the right target, and you, you, you don't even have to speak the correct language that you do speak. <laughs> um, Shira, what are some appropriate dresses and shoes for daytime freestyling? Anything casual that is not overpowering, like to be out during the daytime. So like maybe neutral colors. Um, I do suggest if you're going to a nice place, heels or, you know, a nice pair of boots, if it's, you know, winter or fall. If it's spring, you could probably do some type of nice sandal. But I do recommend like neutrals during the daytime with a cute shoe. Mm hmm Um, girl, he ordered it. In
it. He wanted to take me to dinner. I wore it after our date. <laughs> so somebody got you some some stuff and you didn't even wear it on the date? Wow. It didn't fit right. I had to take it back and exchange the size. Mm-hmm. If you see potential in your man to level up, how long do you stick around? I can't see potential. I only see the results. Okay? Potential can go either way. That bum on the street had potential. Okay? Everybody has potential. Everybody. So I'm not going for it any type of potential. I'm going for straight up results. Let me see what you could do. Let me see what you already did. Let me see what you got for yourself. Let me see if I want to um, be with you because you know how to go and get it. I'm not going to wait to hope you can get it. No, I need to see the results. Yeah. You know, like when you go on a job interview and they want some references and they want some previous uh, experience and things like that. They want to know what you can do. Yes, that's what I need. I, I don't need potential. So if that were me, I would just make sure I'm leveled up. to So when I surpass that person or outgrow that person that I'm with, that I won't have any problem moving on to the next. You know, if that person doesn't follow your lead and level up as well, then they probably were, they probably were not, you know, reaching their potential anyway. Um, so so, you know, everybody has their own experiences with interracial, with same you know, dating within your race, with the outside of your race, um, in between your race. <laughs> if y'all dated someone mixed, I say that. <laughs> That's a new one, right? In between your race. <laughs> dated somebody in between your race. Um, you know, everybody's going to experience something different and just go with what makes you the happiest and benefits you the most and makes you the most happiest or the most happy. That's all we could do. So, I'm not going to get into all the details of it. There's no, I only focus on the solution. Okay. I'm not focusing on the problem because it's always going to be a problem. Always going to be a problem. So I'm just focusing on the solution. Okay. Mm hmm. So the only color that matters is green. <laughs> You're black and Arab and they are colorist and racist. Be careful. Everybody is, y'all. I mean, like, if you really think about it, everyone is. That's why everybody gonna have to mix. Then it'll be classism. You're poor. Oh, you're rich. You know, let's get it to that at least. Let's get it to the rich and poor. Then we can all get rich. She will. We need to accept the facts that average black man has no money. They are at least, they're at least cerebral, sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, um, m most that, I, I would say there are a lot of actually educated black men. James have a lot of friends that got money, but y'all ain't checking for them. Okay. Y'all are looking for them. <laughs> Y'all are looking for the wrong ones, like I said earlier. You know, James has a lot of wealthy friends. All his friends are black and they are wealthy. They got money. They all have careers. They all have houses. They're all married. They got kids. You know, um, what what type of man are you looking for though? Like these are engineers and you know, IT and you know, um, science, like people that are working in these type of fields, they're not they're not in a club, you know, these are like, these, these are the type of men that are fundraisers and 
um, leadership conferences and uh, I don't know, you know, those type of dudes. They're not in the club. They're not in the street. They're not online. They're not on Instagram. They're not on YouTube. They ain't on here. They busy building stuff and creating a life that you want. So they're out there, just not where they are. Get where they at. Um, are James's wealthy black friends married to black women? Yep. Um, they sure are. So they out there, y'all just gotta find them. Stop looking in the wrong spots. Um, the Arabic people I know, uh, well, you know, everybody has their own problems within their own race as well. So if you don't look like the next person, they're going to have a problem. If you don't look like them, they're going to they gonna have a problem. That's why, like I said, in the future, everyone will be, they're going to be the same color. So then it'll just be about money. Um, right. If you, um, let's get it to the money. <laughs> are the wives leveled up and not working? Some of them are. Um, one just got divorced though, so he free. Uh, man, that story was terrible. When James told me that story, I was laughing. We were both laughing, but it was sad at the same time, girl. Let me tell you the story. Okay, so James has, his friend's an engineer, right? So, you know, he's a good guy. He was taking care of everything, providing, you know, kids was grown. But, he, you know, he was working, da 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 right? Nice home. This story made me mad because <laughs> it made James mad. And I was like, I feel your pain. I feel his pain. So while he was at work, or even sometimes at night when he was at home, she would sneak out and say, oh, I'm going here or I'm going there. But what he had her followed and all this kind of stuff. And then when he started getting suspicious because she was getting sloppy with it. Guess where she was going, y'all? She was going. She was she had met this couple in an ad that was that was swingers. OK. This rich white couple, and this is a black woman. She had met this rich white couple who were, and and they lived in River Oaks, which is the old wealthy side of town where I live in, in Houston. It's like the old 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 money. Okay, now her husband already got money, and they weren't paying her or giving her anything. Okay, and she didn't have to work. She had everything: nice car, blah 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 blah, luxury car. And so she would go sneak over there and be with them. And so one day um, he saw, I found a text or something and then he had her followed. And when he went and knocked on that door, no, he went and knocked on the door. And she came out. And he had locked the house, changed them locks. It was over. Thank you, China. So he's single now. He's getting divorced. How to make a retired basketball player chase me enough to propose. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Be the best thing he can get. Girl, them retired basketball players, they out for is the quantity, not the quality. So don't give him what he wants. Don't sleep with him. Don't sleep with them. Be his, put it, friends on them, baby. Friends on them. When, whenever you friend zone someone that has that type of money and options, they always wonder why, and then they wonder why they're why you won't be with them like everybody else will. So friends on them. Hope you can sleep with them. Friends on them. Um. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now you know. I guess she had to get her little apartment and. Um, job or whatever. Start back at square one. Um, I think 
she probably gonna get something from the divorce, but mm, pretty dumb to me. Do I go to James Company events? No. Um, he mostly works from home and like um they don't really do stuff like that unless it's like Christmas. And I don't really go to Christmas parties because like I don't really drink anymore and it's just like I don't know, we just we just always skip those. It's 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 weird because I asked him one time, he was like, Oh, you wanna go? He had bought tickets and everything and I I was like I got mad one time because um I was like I don't know what 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 it was but like I was giving him the silent treatment or something and I said I'm not going to your thing and so he had already bought tickets and those tickets were expensive so <laughs> I still I've got what I want out of the situation though I got what I wanted out of the situation but the whole point is we don't go no more because I back out at the last minute <laughs> to get what I want. <laughs> um, do people still wear gowns to galas? Yeah, if you look like under the events of your city, um, just look up events and galas and then insert your city name. A bunch of them will pop up. You can buy um, tickets and stuff too or see how much or when it is and where it's at and what the dress is. Mm-hmm. I just got here. Can someone catch me up on what she was just told? We've been here for a while, but I actually getting ready to go. Um, <laughs> I'm going to gala tonight, Sheila. Oh, lady astronaut, that's cool. Have fun, take pictures. Do I still freestyle? Yes, at my house on my couch in front of the TV. <laughs> I'm married. How, how could I freestyle when I'm married? You know, if I'm out and about and someone is attracted to me and comes up and tries to talk to me, you know, no, that's not my fault, but I don't go out to freestyle. No. <laughs> not for the triggered. Right. Texas Medical Center. Here I come. Texas Medical Center. Yep, that area over there. Um, Were all the uh, mm -hmm. if you join social and pleasure clubs, there are always galas and balls. Yeah. Thank you. Your first husband was a nerdy engineer. <laughs> yeah, so y'all hit them galas up. Shoot, get them gowns. It's gala season. You know, sometimes men go by themselves or they take some, you know, somebody they don't really want to be with and they see you and that and you get to look your best. Like you get you get to be like in nice, really nice, you know, formal wear and everybody looks their best and they're formal. And so they get to see you like look it's so beautiful. You can take their breath away faster. Like, you know. Mm. You love formal parties. Uh -huh. Yeah, you, you know, I've done all of these things. Like, it was beautiful. It was my 20s and my early 30s were the best. It was so fun. I've, I've done a lot. I don't regret anything. And I think everyone should have experiences before they settle down and get married. Everybody need to have experiences, whether it's dating interracially interculturally dating yourself not dating thank you um sonia can you come to body lift houston i don't even know what that is but sprinkle sprinkle um if you um make sure that you experience and do everything that you want to do and then you won't feel like you're missing out on anything once you decide to get the lifestyle that you desire. So y'all go have fun, get that stuff out of the way, date, get people to pay for stuff. Don't be stupid though. Don't lose yourself. 
don't make mistakes. And then when it's time, settle down and get what you want. But go where you're wanted. Go, you know, you're going to have the most for the least. Okay. I'm just a homebody now. Yeah. Girl, I've been going out since I was 15. I had a fake ID. When you've been going out for that long, it's time to go. It's time to take it in. Did I get face filler? No. I did not get no face filler. I had my lips done like months ago. Just like some um, Restylane, but like in my lips. But it's already worn out. That's why I had to overdraw them because it's like temporary. It metabolizes. But I don't have anything in my face. Do I need something in my face? We do a non-invasive. Oh, okay, Sonia. Well, if y'all give me some free, no, non-invasive. How do you do non-invasive lipo? Don't they got to stick you with a troll car? Or, <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. Nope. Is it that freeze stuff? Does it like freeze you and stuff with lasers and stuff? Cool scope. No, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I've seen those results. It's not too. It's not enough for me to do all of that. Like, I need like, um, it's it's not enough. <laughs> I saw the ads for that. It's like this much difference. Like. I ain't finna do all that for this much. But thank you for the um um do y'all do lips? I might I might be back in there for a review. Sprinkle sprinkle. Um no, it's not cool sculpting. Well, you know what? I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna look into it. Thank you, girl. I'm, you know, I'm I'll never say never. I'll look into it, I'll see what they got. But you know, where is the best place James took you? Oh. See if I got time. Let me think. I don't know. Like we've been so many places. We went out every day. Let me see if I can think of the best surprise. Well, one I think the most thoughtful and surprising thing was when he chartered a sailboat on my birthday. This was like a couple years ago. Um, it surprised me. I had no idea. Well, he told me like at the last minute, so I know what to wear, but that was a good surprise. Um, one time he surprised me on my 24th birthday and, uh, flew me to New Orleans and we spent the weekend out there. And then one time we went to Cancun and Cozumel for the, he flew me out there. Like always a surprise. This is when we were dating. Um, not even and the sailboat was after we was married. Um, just a lot of stuff. Just a lot back to back. Um, he sent me to Hawaii with my sister. <laughs> he didn't even go because they were all going. And he was like, well, if you want to go? I was like, sure. Um, so, I mean, just nice stuff. so many things like he always come home with flowers and food and it's just back to back it's non-stop because i don't know like he's just a thoughtful person mm -hmm. oh but you know sometimes he ain't perfect now sometimes people get on your nerves and you know um but nobody's perfect i ain't perfect i know that but he's always been the same way no matter what so i think it was a good match. And I think his, you know, um, I think our kids recognize what he does for me and will not settle for anything less in other men, which is a good thing because he's an example to how men should treat their women or at least, you know, somewhat. And they have that in their mind. They have that in their vision. So, if someone treats them different or less, they're not going to accept it because they didn't accept it here and they ain't going to accept it there. And I feel that if most 
if most people married someone that treated them um, a certain way, you know, their kids would also grow up to look for similar treatment. Thank you. You're currently dating yourself. Good for you. You know, you date yourself. You know what you like. You know what you don't like. You know where you like to go. You know where you don't like to go. You know what you like to, you know, drink, eat. So when you do go on a date, you don't have to worry about, you know, feeling like, do I have to do this? Do I have to do that? You know yourself. So now you don't have to feel as insecure as most people do who really never really get to know themselves. Uh -huh. I don't seem happy though. I am happy. You know, if I was happy all the time, like happy, 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 like I would be on drugs, you know, because happiness is not a permanent state. It is a temporary emotion. So peace and bliss is and content. Contentment is what we go for. Because the um, you know, happiness. Once you stop being happy, once real reality sets in, then what are you going to be sad? You know, I'm in bliss and I am in peace and I am content with everything. You don't have to be happy. You don't always have to be smiling. And This is the best day ever. I mean, I would get tired of that or if I woke up every day and somebody brought me breakfast in bed and took me through shopping every single day of my life and gave me a stack of cash every day. I would get sick of that. Sometimes you need just bliss, just peace, just to do what you want to do. Not to always be happy. A lot of people think, oh, you always have to be happy. Well, I'm, I don't drink anymore. I don't even, I don't do anything. So I don't need to be in an altered state to feel like I'm good, you know. I'm at peace. Um, a lot of people think you're supposed to be happy all the time, but that's not true. You can't live in a temporary emotion. It makes no sense. So I wish that pe more people would understand this and they, they would learn how to pick their partners and they would learn how to pick their lives instead of looking for happiness, which is only very temporary. It only lasts a few moments and then it's over and then you're back to reality. So if you are looking for happiness, it's only going to be a temporary amount of happiness. Okay. And then reality sets in. And if you live in peace and bliss, that is where you find, you know, your solace, I'll say. Mm -hmm. What? Um, right. And anyone who points out someone else's state of happiness is unhappy themselves because they're trying to find something in you that they don't have within. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not happy, but I'm good. Okay. Um, that's right. My email address has bliss in it. Exactly. Uh -huh. Um, so that's another thing. Most people are looking for people that make them happy. No. Do you have peace? Can you rest? Can you do what you want to do? Are you going to have problems if you decide to do A, B, C, and D? If you're not happy all the time, is someone, to ask, is someone going to keep asking you, what's wrong? What's wrong? You know, can you be you? That's the question. I can be me all day. I can have this YouTube channel all day. I can have another YouTube channel all day. I can sit up here and talk to y'all all day. I can go shopping. I can go eat. I can order food. I can do all. I can do whatever I want to do. That is peace. Okay. So think about that. Can you do that? Peace is very important. And I think that's why we stay together so long because I don't, I don't care. I don't argue. I don't try to start drama. I don't do none of that stuff because I like my peace. And I know he loves his peace. Okay. Peace will take you a long way. It will take you further than happiness. Most people want to be stuck together ill. I know, right? 
only a provider and protector can give me a peaceful life. Exactly. Um, how long have I been married? Since 2006, but I've been with uh, James since 2001. So, a long time. Mm -hmm. There's a sadness I hear, huh? Yeah, the sadness is, uh, I'm just, I just don't have enough bliss in my life. You know, everyone's always looking for sadness and stuff like that in people. That's how you have to get away from negative people that are always looking for sadness or weakness or something within you because it's within them. Like, if I were sad, I wouldn't be up here talking to you guys. I would go... Uh, deal with my sadness and then come talk but uh, I'm sad for y'all <laughs> why do why do y'all want her to be sad? everybody wants me to be sad everybody I think it's time for my fake downfall y'all just gave me a good old idea thank you it's time for the fake downfall so I can make a comeback all right so, so many people want to see me fall. So many people want to see me mess up and it's time for that. Thank y'all. I'm strategic and I'm going to make it happen. So, those of you who are on this video, y'all going to know, but the rest of the world won't. I'm going to give them what they want. Then I'm going to come back. I'm going I'm to I'm pull a Kanye, a Mariah. I'm gonna have a mental meltdown. Y'all, I gotta get ready though. I gotta get my makeup together so I can look like I'm having a mental breakdown. I'm 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 gonna just make it good, y'all. Y'all gonna be entertaining. Don't say nothing though. Don't let, let, people gotta believe it's real, okay? I'm gonna double my views and subscribers just to see the meltdown. Anyway, I'm gonna pull a Trisha Paytas. I'm going to be sitting in front of my refrigerator. Yes, that's what we say in Texas. Refrigerator. 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 <laughs> I'm going to have my running mascara. My hat, my eyelash going to be hanging halfway off. It's going to be good, y'all. It's, it's going to be good. Um, James and I barely like each other. You're right. We barely like each other. We barely like each other so much that we've been together for what 18 years. We got uh got everything we want. But we barely like each other. I bet the person you really like don't even like you. I'd rather have barely liking each other than liking somebody more than they like me and not even be able to be with them. Okay. <laughs> okay. They want to see it. So but you know what? I'm gonna have a fake, I'm gonna have a fake separation just to make you happy. So you can feel good in your heart because you alone. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make the next video called James Left Me. So your heart can pitter-patter a little faster in excitement. <laughs> James finally left me. That's the name of it. That's how y'all know it started. Oh, my gosh. He done left me. It's going to be funny, too. Y'all know it's going to be comedy. I, I found him and I found pictures of his phone. Y'all don't even want to know who he was with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She worked for the circus. Uh. I'm going to come up with something good. That's going to be hilarious. Sure. They're just hating. We love you, girl. Thank you. I know they just hate it. But, you know, I'm going to give them what they want. I'm going to give the people what they want. I'm going to give the people, I'm going to give them the best performance. And then I'm going to pretend like James begging me to come back. It's going to make them even madder. He's trying to get me back, y'all. He said he's going to buy me a new car. Look, what, look at the jewelry he got me. <laughs> he's trying to get me back, girl. What y'all think? <laughs> mm 
Anyway, I might do that. We'll see. Is it bad to hug and cuddle? It's not bad. And if you got the bag, it ain't bad. Get the bag, though. Get some money. Right. I, it would be help. What? Can you do a quick rundown of common pick me habits? Yeah. Calling first, begging for attention and affection, nagging. Anything that bothers and bugs people in general is pick me. Always asking where you been, why you didn't call, what time did you get home, all that kind of stuff. It's pick me show. Um, right. No, I, I can't bring other people into our stuff because then, because I'd have to get their permission and I don't think that people would be down for that. So I'll, it will just have to be an unknown, um, uh, situation, but it'll be good though. And y'all know I'm gonna make it creative. Um, <laughs> your dude is a pick me. Yeah, some men are pick. I call them dusty, though. <laughs> Look in James' phone. 99% you'll find some. Girl, he, he don't even have a lock on his phone. I got his all his passwords, email address, everything. He ain't hiding nothing, believe me. And I don't even care to look. That's why he leave it open, because I don't look. So, even if I did find something, I wouldn't care. As long as he paying them bills, and I would, and he he would have it locked. You know, he don't have to hide nothing from me. You know why? The funny thing is, because he's always at home. <laughs> okay. The only thing he dating is ghosts or spirits, because he's always at home. He at home right now. <laughs> so he mediocre. If he's mediocre, then whoever you ever been with is below subpar. You know, you can't even be below subpar. You don't even have anybody. So, I mean, I'm sure you would love to have something mediocre. Y'all, this troll is really mad. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have mediocre than nothing. You got nothing. You got dusty. You got neg your credit probably bad. You probably are in debt and owe money and probably... Had to pay your last two men to even be with you. <laughs> he dates the couch. Exactly. Pick me's always get mad. They sure do. Look, let me tell you how to, let me tell you how to go get a man. Pick me. Show. Take off them leggings. First of all, burn them. Okay. You listening? Take off them leggings, burn them. Stay out of the junior section. Go get fitted for the proper size bra. Get some makeup. That's the correct shade. Uh huh. Get me a body shape. I I got my body shape is uh James approved. Okay. What's your body shape? Water bottle. My, my body shape is James approved. Check. Okay. Husband approved. Provider approved. Okay. What is your body shape? Single? Okay. <laughs> so, I ain't worried about my body shape. I already got the bag. Old man approved, exactly. Keyword approved. Thank you, me and Nicole. In your opinion, how much would you have saved back before quitting your job? Saved? Ugh. I didn't know I was going to quit. But if I had a plan, 
Yes, I would have saved at least a couple thousand. Like, to um, because I I always got jobs super quick. I could always get a job. I wouldn't worry about that. I always got jobs on the spot. Cause I picked the right target. I knew where to go and apply. But I would have saved a couple thousand, of course. Until you find a sugar daddy or a new job. Um, take that raggedy jacket off. It looks cheap and get up. I made this jacket, darling. So it is a creative thing. I made that. If you don't like it, oh well, don't wear it. I'm sure you can't fit it. Wealthy man approved, right? Leave Miss You alone. Let them troll. You know, this is keeping them from cutting. Take a beauty supply, play, take the beauty supply jewelry off. Well, you would know because you'd be shopping there, right? I love the beauty supply. Shoot. In fact, I'm probably going to go after this. You can't fit it. It's too big. Well, then get your weight up. Mm -hmm. You know, get your weight up. People turn to the side and you disappear and get your weight up. I, I can't help that you not what you want to be. <laughs> you know, she looks like a whole grown man taking a selfie. We know the haters are always ugly. We already know. There's nobody that's going to waste their time who look better than me that's going to hate on me. There's no one, because I wouldn't do that. There's no way someone is going to come to a channel and hate on somebody that they look better than. So I already know she's ugly. Okay? It's the truth. Why is she trolling like this? Because she's ugly. That's why. She need to level up. Let me go see who I can troll today to make myself feel prettier. Oh, nobody. Guess I won't troll. But you found somebody, didn't you? Congratulations, it's me. You found somebody. Come on, come on with it so you can feel pretty. Let's sing it to her. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> Bring me down so you can feel up. Come on. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, you must be gorgeous. Oh, you must have the, all the men. You must live way better than me. Please don't hurt my feelings anymore. Okay? I hope, I hope that gives you what you need to finish your day. Thank you, Tasha C. Should we look dolled up from sunrise? Girl, I, that's how I do. Shoot, I'm always look good. I don't know who's going to come to the door. When you're going to have to dash out. I was reading a comment the other day. Some some woman left their house without their makeup or looking cute. And they ran into their ex. Looking crazy. Don't do that. You never know who you're going to run into. You might get, you know, you might get stopped for a ticket. You might be able to get out of that ticket if you look good. Always look good. Okay? Always. If you're going to leave your house, look good. If you're going to sit up next to a man, look decent. But don't be sitting up there looking like they don't recognize you and start, you know, dialing 911 before they realize it's you because you spoke. If you <laughs> if you are, look like a whole different person. But try to stay cute, yes. The answer is yes. Um, my opportunities and even more when... You look right. Exactly. Um, Shira, it's my birthday today. Thanks for all your wisdom. Happy birthday, Maya H. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Have a good birthday. I hope you get some good stuff. Um, hit the like button. Thank you, Ty Tiana. You are guaranteed to run into someone the day you let yourself go. Yep. I, I remember someone, I, don't know, I hope y'all are on here, said that y'all ran into some basketball player. Was it Shaq or somebody when y'all when y'all weren't looking y'all's best? You had to meet a celebrity with no makeup on. Oops. Um. 
Mm-hmm. So, are you swirling? No, I, I'm married. Shoot. I, I'm married with kids. I'm just talking about it for other people. So they can tell me and I can tell them what I think. But I said, get in where you fit in, go to where it's most beneficial and where what makes you happiest. Don't sacrifice an entire life for one thing and don't sacrifice, you know, don't sacrifice your happiness either. Get what you want. You put yourself first. Do I want more kids? No, I am done. I am done. Besides, Sasha would never let me have another child because she wants to remain the baby forever. She is the baby. Um, do you think James' loving behavior is thanks to never being a pick-me who begged for love and affection? Um, yeah. Because if you don't have something, you're always going to be trying to get it. You know, if, if your woman is not a pick me, you're going to say, oh, yeah, I want her to act like this. So I have to do everything to, to get what I want. So if you don't, if you're not always on your man and hugging and snuggled up to him when he did nothing for you. And when he does a lot for you, you sit next to him and talk to him and, and smile and, you know, be interactive. Then he's going to continue to do it. OK. But if you always up on him and he can't breathe and it's hot and it's, oh, I wish he'd go do something. He ain't going to do nothing. You have to always make them chase. Always make sure they know they don't always have you, you know. Mm hmm You ever watch those movies where, you know, um, the wife is kind of like a little bit not really concerned with the man and then when she shows him attention he gets all excited like that you know you don't want to be overly concerned with him mm -hmm. what are most black people sacrificing that you have come across lifestyle money um for you know ooh but he cute ooh but i love him ooh but we had a baby together oh but he got a six pack you know, they're not looking for, you know, that engineer who um, junior high school uh, wardrobe, but they're looking for him. Go get you a real man with some real money and a real career. That's what I suggest. You know, don't looks, don't sacrifice, you know, trying to be with someone who doesn't want you and not looking for you. It could go for any race any type of relationship put you first and when they treat you like you treat yourself that's who you go with when someone treats you like you treat yourself that's who you're supposed to be with mm -hmm. so what should we wear around the man around the house Cute outfits, you know, if you want a lounge, they got Victoria's Secrets, they got Fenty, they got robes, they have satin. So you can even go to Walmart and get you a nightgown with, with a robe and just satiny material. You can go just look cute if you lounge and get you some lounge clothes. Don't be in raggedy clothes. Get there. They have lounge clothes. They have lingerie. They have comfortable lounge clothes that you could go outside in. You know, Oprah always got them things on. Wear something that is not ratchet. That's all. You know? <laughs> okay. I know a lot of men that love seeing women in active wear. Well, do whatever. They'll tell you, ooh, you look good at and then you know what to keep, what to keep wearing. You know, the kind of stuff to wear. Cause they'll tell you. Mm -hmm. Wear what money approves, right? 
Danielle, thank you. If not married, how often do can I do girls' night out? If you don't have a man, do you have a man or do you have a you have a boyfriend? You can do girls' night out as much as you want. Maybe once a week, twice a week. If he ain't taking you out, then you need to take yourself out. You know? If you want to go out. Mm. How do you stay feminine when running errands? Wear feminine clothing. I have on a dress right now. I have this little cute jacket. If I were freestyling and single, I probably have on a different outfit, but I always um, would stay feminine, have your makeup done, do your hair. You know, this is how I look when I go out, running errands. Look your best everywhere you go. Thank you, Ty. How important is chemistry? How important is it to you? You know what I'm saying? I think it's important that you are able to um, get along with that person, feel safe with that person, and have an understanding with that person. But, you know, don't take it to the level where everything has to be perfect and you have to have everything in common. Because a lot of times in relationships, it's the differences that make it work. So, you know. I say if you have a little bit, it will grow. If you have none, it probably won't. Okay. Sure. How much is it to join? I never give prices on the videos because I leave these videos up forever. So you're going to have to write. Go to the last link in the description box. And um, there because that is how you're going to get added to the group. Anyway, and you can get the price. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You can level up in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, even your 70s. Yeah. So all you got to do is put yourself first. Take care of yourself. Don't leave your house looking crazy. Look cute. Be feminine. You know, um, take care of yourself. Where did you meet? Oh, y'all talking to each other. Um, thank you. What do I think about dating a married man? I think if you're just dating him, I mean, you're not trying to marry him. If he's if he's out dating, he's going to date somebody. You know, if it ain't you, it's going to be somebody else. If he's coming on to you, he ain't acting married. Okay. So I say do what makes you feel comfortable. If he's, if he's trying to pay them bills, get the bills paid, do what you got to do. It, he's going to be dating somebody if it ain't you. So um, this is always tell women. If you feel guilty about dating a married man, then don't do it. But just remember, somebody else is going to be getting that money. It could have been you. He's going to cheat on somebody. He's going to cheat with somebody. He's going to be with somebody. So, um, like I said, I'm not a role model. I'm not politically correct. I don't care. But I get results, okay? A lot of the ladies who watch you are ratchet wannabes. <laughs> They wouldn't be able to get an upper middle class man in their wildest dreams. Um, they might, they might not. They could level up. I done seen some ratchet chicks level up all the way. Took took a man. Shoot. So I think some of them will, some of them won't, some of them will surprise you. You never know. Don't count, don't count them out. <laughs> don't count them out. Have faith. What should you order at the bar to appear feminine? Should you always get bubbly? What shouldn't you order? Don't order no Hennessy on the rocks. Don't order a masculine drink. Um, try to order something cute. You know, like whatever cute little cutesy cocktail drink that you like. Some people like vodka. Some people like rum. Just make sure it's girly. That's all. It's a girly drink. I used to order lemon drop martini. With sugar on the rim. Mm hmm You could do wine. Champagne. You say except for bubbly, but you know. Mm-hmm.
Um, Shu, can you make us some level up journals for our lessons lives? <laughs> I think I have one. It's like in the group, or you can go to zazzle.com and like I think I have some on there, but they might be old. I don't know. I'll see. <laughs> Advice on young rich men. Have fun. Don't take them too seriously because they're not taking you seriously. Get some money, get, get some shopping. I don't know. Like, they have many options, so it's going to be harder. Like, for me, I don't do hard work. That's why I don't work because I don't like working. I'm not going for a challenge. I'm going for easy. I'm a Pisces. I'm lazy. I'm going for the easiest thing out there, which means nobody young. If you like a challenge, then you're going to have to compete, baby. Are you ready for some competition? Okay. Mm -hmm. Not to compete. You're going to look like you're in a beauty pageant every day. You're going to have to be better than the next chick. That can get his attention, you know. That's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> I ain't gonna do all that work. I might as well get a job if I'm gonna do all of that work. Um, <laughs> what do you think of hoe tactics? Um, I agree with some of it, but not all of it. Um, just like anything in life, people agree with some things and not all of it. It's decent. It's decent. It has some good pointers in there, but I would not um, agree with 100% of it because it is written from a man's perspective, but you know. Mm -hmm. You found me when you were watching medical school test prep. <laughs> Yay. Thank you, SW. Um, thank you, Aunt Shira, for giving me the confidence and waking up my better self and learning my worth as a woman period love you for your truth and power and your humor oh thank you sprinkle sprinkle girl that was nice i try um you think the lord was like you gonna need a sugar daddy for your medical school yep you'd probably be surprised how many women got through school for being with a sugar daddy could be your surgeon. Could be your dentist. You never know. Mm -hmm. I'm 18 and this 49-year-old CEO comes to my city and wants to meet me, but he's married. Should I go away? Should I go anyways or should I not because he's married and bad karma? Um, You're 18. He's 49. He's married. You need to be getting a bunch of money from him before you even meet. You're 18. Okay. You need to get a bunch of money. You need to take, you need to play stupid and dumb and be like, well, I don't have any gas money and I need to buy some clothes and I need to pay for a ticket that I got the other day, but I really want to meet stupid and dumb, child. Get a bunch of money and then, then you decide if you want to meet him or not. Okay. And you still don't sleep with them. Don't even sleep with them. That way you don't have no type of feelings that you have bad karma or whatever. Don't sleep with him. Just allow him to be seen in public with you and to take you to get something to eat, maybe shopping, and that's it. Take your butt home. But get his money. He deserves it. You know, you will get good karma if you just take his money. Because you're teaching him a lesson. So get that money, girl. But don't give him anything else. Just go have a meal. If you if you want to take your shopping, let him take it. Go. My mom's picking me up at 10. <laughs> then he'll feel oh my god. How do I sneak out because my family is strict and how do I lie to meet me?
You 18. You, you shouldn't be sneaking out. You grown, baby. You grown. If you have to sneak out at 18, then you need to move out. Okay? You need to move on out. Get a roommate. Move in with your cousin, aunt, somebody. But a lot, a lot of women are like, if you're under your mom or parents' control, I mean, you're going to have to get out from under that first, you know? Tell me, spending the night at your friend's house, girl. Get a hotel room or a motel room and for the weekend. I don't know. Save your money. Get some money from a sugar daddy. I don't know. But that's, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't still be there if there was that much control over me. Your feet are ugly. Cover them up then. Go get them feet surgery. The hammer toe surgery. I don't know. What's wrong with your feet? She said her feet are ugly. Girl, work it out. Go to a podiatrist. See what they can do. I know this lady had, who had feet surgery. She had to, you got to walk on these like ugly orthopedic sh uh, surgery shoes for like six weeks. Is it worth it? Just wear heels. Men can't see your feet in the pointy heels. Wear socks all the time. My feet always be cold. <laughs> Keep them pedicured as much as you can. <laughs> Lotion them up. Keep them toenails clipped. You see a bunion problems? Oh, uh, well, you know. They got surgery for that, but. Mm -hmm. I really wouldn't care about my feet. Like, just keep, as long as they under the covers and then some socks, man, they don't care. Man, they trying to sleep with your feet. Mm-hmm. You should see some of these men's feet. If they can't complain about nobody's feet, they feet be looking like a gremlin. Gremlin's foot. Don't even match. You look down, you look up, you think you got like. <laughs> okay. You look like something out of a horror movie. So if they feet don't look better than yours, I wouldn't really worry about it. 20 toes down. <laughs> um, I have nice feet. Thank, thank goodness I don't have my mom's. <laughs> Take care of y'all's feet. Don't be making, messing y'all feet up when y'all are young, for real. Provider boyfriend is looking online to buy me a car, I ask. Will the car be in my name? He, how do I just have him co-sign and put down the down payment and make the payments? That's all you gotta do. Um, what did I read the whole question? Okay, so yeah, give him the co-sign, put the down payment down. And make the payments and put him on your insurance, put you on his insurance. Mm hmm. What are my thoughts on plastic surgery? Get it if you want it. My thoughts are do what is best for you, what makes you feel good about you, because you have you're the only one that have to live with you. You know, that's my thing. If you want to change something, change it. If you don't, leave it. Work with what you got. Do whatever you want to do. Like everybody has free will. Um. Do it. It's going to put a smile on your face. Put yourself first. Um, all right. Anyway. And. How do you go out freestyling if you're 19? Go to other places, you know. Go to restaurants. Um. You know, sometimes if you can't sit in the bar area, then you have like a lounge area. Uh, go to like wealthy areas, go to uh, events and things like that. You know, don't depend on a bar. I, I was out at 15. I didn't care. I would go up in there anyway. 
if a man buys you, I'm not gonna say that on this channel because I, I want to get any lawsuits. But shoot, I was out at I was out at 15, and you, there's a way you can get around it if you want to. Um, mm hmm. Hi, Kitty. My cat's over here. Anyway, I think we did. We have discussed the topic, so I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all have fun. Thank you for all the good questions and thank you everyone for the donations. Um, I appreciate it. Thank y'all for listening and can like. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.